Hold it right there, whoever you are. We're not going back to the Academy. We'll kill you rather than go back. So what is it then? If you're not here to kill us or bring us back, why are you here? Speak up! So you have heard about us. Yes, we ran away before Master Uthar could execute us. Is that so hard to believe? My name is Thalia May. The others here and myself refused to murder a bunch of people on a whim from Master Uthar. So here we are. We thought that becoming a Sith was what we always wanted, but that wasn't true. Now all we want is to get out of here. Fair enough? Help us? Why should I believe that this isn't some kind of trick? You want to help us? All right, I can think of a way. We're stuck in these caves, obviously, or we would have been long gone. There's a passage to the surface through the caves, but we're blocked by some kind of large creature. We can't defeat it. If you could kill it and clear up the passageway for us, we could escape. That would be help enough. Can you do that? Clear? We can go. Thank you. This... I wasn't expecting help from anyone in the Academy. Maybe. Maybe the Jedi will accept us. At any rate, thank you again. You've saved our lives.
Oh, hello to you. You're new to the Academy, aren't you? I can't say we've ever met. Galen Lore, at your service. Aren't these tombs fascinating? We had no idea the Sith were here so long ago. Not from this far back. Or at least what records do exist are sketchy at best. These ruins date back to a period when the Sith were first formed, before their exile into the far reaches of space. It's quite fascinating. I've been working on a translation of some of the runes by this tomb. I'm quite excited. This may very well be the tomb of a Jantapal. Ajanta Paul was one of the first of the great Sith Lords. He rebelled against his Jedi Masters and led the way for the rest of us that followed. These ruins claim that he was interred here, and I wonder if his sword might not be here as well. According to legend, Ajanta Paul created a sword of terrible power. Someone who located it could gain considerable prestige. Well, a few of the Boulder students have tried. They did not return. As I understand it, the tombs are quite dangerous. From what I've been told, the tombs have old traps and machines that are still active. They were designed to keep out intruders when they were made, and still do. I suppose if the Academy wanted to make a concerted effort, the tomb would be opened. But I think Master Uthar prefers to keep it as a challenge for the students.
nothing at all. The legends don't say anything about it. It may have had powers only for Ajanta alone. Of course, don't let me keep you from your business. What? Sure.
ready. Yes? Sorry, I can't talk. We have to excavate this valley with hand instruments. There's all kinds of old traps left behind that still work. Greetings. I don't think I've seen you at the Academy before. Here to investigate the ruins. My name's Dak Vesser. I'm assigned to the valley ruins, as you can see. Master Uthar won't allow us to dig with lasers or sonics. We have to use hand tools only, so we don't accidentally destroy... Well, it seems that the Sith once inhabited Korriban a long time ago. There was a fortress here that was destroyed at some point before the... Why they left, we don't know. Perhaps the Jedi drove them off. The tombs in this valley are the only parts of the fortress we found most... Most of the interesting stuff is still in the tombs. But Master Uthar prefers to leave them to be explored by the students as a challenge. In time, they will probably become safe enough for us to enter. Until that time, however, we're stuck to digging up the valley. There's four tombs here. On the right are the tombs of Ajunta Paul and Tulak Horde. On the left are the tombs of Marco Ragnos and Nagasato. All four were ancient Sith lords. That's the first tomb on the right. There's a rumor that there's a powerful artifact still in That tomb supposedly has ancient battle droids and traps that are still functioning. It's amazing that their power sources have lasted so long, really. That's the farthest tomb on the right. We don't know much about Tulak Horde, unfortunately. The Takata have a nest in that tomb, I think. A local pack animal that's very dangerous. Occasionally, the guards track down a queen and kill... That's the first tomb on the left. Someone mentioned that a crazy droid has holed itself up. It's the second tomb on the left when you enter the valley. Nagasato was the leader of the old Sith Masters here, we think. Darth Malak found something in there a while back, however, and ever since then only Master Uthar can enter it. No. A lot of the discoveries are kept secret, even from the students. I only heard that Darth Malak found something there by rumor, to be honest. All right, just be careful if you head into any of those tombs.
<laughs> Another idiotic student has stumbled into my little web, eh? Well, the contact nerve toxin in the air should knock you out quickly enough. <laughs> Welcome. Awake already, are you? Good. This is the tomb of Sith Lord Tulak Horde, if you don't know. I've taken up residence here for now. It's dusty and full of critters, but it's home. Oh, yes. Introductions, of course. I suppose it is time, isn't it? This other student here that I captured earlier should know well enough. His name is Miko. Say hello, Miko. <laughs> Poor lad. He's had a hard day. My name is Jorak Earl. I was once the head of the academy, so I'm sure you've heard of me. Liar! I know the spark of recognition when I see it. Nice try. Anyhow, I'd like to propose that we move on to the main event. You see, I'd like to discover if you've got the pluck of an old-fashioned Sith. Most of the Drek Uthar has been passing through these days is so pathetic. Take young Miko here. I already tested him. Didn't I, Miko? Uh, I... Uh... Yes, yes, you're welcome. You see... Miko here has the cruel disposition of a Sith, but not the gumption that I'm looking for. <laughs> then I'd say you have quite an imagination. Not a bad thing, but not quite what I'm looking for in a proper Sith. Well, forgive me for resorting to the cliché, but you would die, of course. Why, then you go free. Tell you what, I'll even pass on to you my own personal thesis on ancient Sith philosophy. They're based on all I've learned studying Tulak's tomb. They'll make you a better Sith, I'm sure. The chances of you passing, however, are sadly remote. Now, now, is that any kind of attitude to take with higher education? I'm doing you a favor, really. So then, this is how it goes. I'm going to pose a moral question to you. Get it right, and I torture Miko. Get it wrong, and I torture you. Miko here is a bit weak. He probably won't be able to take much more punishment. Mind you, get too many wrong, and you will die. I don't know what you think of Mika. Maybe you don't like him. Maybe you think he deserves to be murdered. Well, here's your chance, fair enough. Then you win. If you die, then he wins. I thought this was self-evident. Did you not grasp the concept earlier? Well then. Any last comments before we begin, Miko? Uh, we could both survive. Attacking together. Now, now, dear lad. Do you really think your friend here will answer questions wrong just to spare little you? Risking their own life? And how many correctly answered questions before you die? Hmm? No, don't be silly. You had your chance, remember? On that note... Let's begin. Now then, your immediate superior amongst the Sith is an effective commander and a fine leader. He trusts you and you like him. You see an opportunity to kill him. What do you do? Incorrect! 
What sort of thinking is that? If all the Sith thought as you did, we would all be soft like the Jedi. <laughs> ah, well, it's time for your punishment. And so we come to round two. You come across a group of humans who are threatened by dangerous animals. They plead for help, offering you a reward. What do you do? So you've made a profit, and now you have some sniveling, useless fools trading after you. No, 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 no! Bad idea, bad idea! At any rate, here is your punishment. Let's see. Ah, yes. You discover an aspect of the Force that gives you great power. Do you share it and strengthen the Sith as a whole? Or keep it to yourself? Let them rip the secret from your cold, dead hands if they are strong enough. Oh, certainly you might share it with a few selected minions, but that, of course, is a completely different story. <laughs> well, it's sad to say, but it's that time again, Miko. Still going? All right, then. One of your underlings has made a major mistake which makes you look He's normally very competent and skilled. Do you kill him, or give him another chance? Another chance to make you look poor to your superiors? To make it look like you are weak and deserving of attack? No, 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 no. Think again. Hm. Not that good help is easy to find. Oh well, here's your reward. Last question. You're about to die. Do you pass on your knowledge to your apprentice to make him stronger? Or do you use your last breath to strike at your enemies? It's a trick question. A true Sith never dies. <laughs> I'll enjoy this one. Time for your medicine. Now, this is odd. The test is over and you're both still alive. Well, that's never happened before. What to do? What to do? I suppose this means you can go, Miko. We have to just figure out what to do with our friend here. Run along now. Or, or I could use the Force to free them. And we could kill you. Seems you didn't think of that, old man. What? Mutiny! Behave, students! I'll... That's it! Detention for all of you! Permanent detention! After all, I can't believe that I'm alive. You saved me. You could have easily just answered those questions and let me die. Yes. Well, I see what you mean. I've never... I mean, I've never been on that side of the fence before. It makes you think. I'd be dead if you weren't... I mean, if you were proper Sith. But you're not, are you? Don't worry. I won't tell anyone. I... 
I don't know. I don't think that's for me. I, I don't think the Sith are really either. I'll have to see. Well, you can have those writings he mentioned. I won't fight you for them. Master Uthar will be very pleased if you give them to him. Commentary. You're gonna trust this organic meatbag master? Very dicey decision. Commentary. The master keeps me around to comment on his decisions. Don't you, master? I'll head back to the academy. I need some rest. Yes? Sure.
Audio input. Audio systems overloading. Must destroy source of disturbance. Must kill sentience.
What?
again? Still roaming about the valley, I see. Of course. Don't let me keep you from your business. Sure. 